Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Brownie, and if you didn't know, the Summer Game Fest 2024 is this Friday. Uh, I had to tell or say anything because I found out yesterday. And the, since there's no E3, obviously, rest in peace E3, um, what's been slowly taking over is some uh, Summer, Summer Nintendo. Summer are Nintendo, but the Summer Game Fest, hosted by Jeff Keighley, and other events that might pop out throughout the month. Uh, I'm most excited for the Nintendo Direct, but I'm also curious of what other, these companies might bring. So in the Summer Game Fest, we have a lot of team series, a lot of partners. Some I, well, a lot of them I do not recognize. But I'm going to be mostly talking about the ones I'm interested in. And that is Bandai Namco. How did I say that incorrectly? Bandai Namco. And such confidence too. Bandai Namco. Um, Devolver Digital. Which I've played some of their games. And some are waggy. Some are really fun. Capcom. Uh, I don't know what magic... The gathering might do but i some of my friends want me to get into that so let me know if that's worth it playstation if they haven't shown anything else from the showcase which was really really anyway next on um yeah Steam, SNK, Sega. SNK, I don't know. Probably we might see more of Garrow, Mark of the Wolves. We might see a port from one of their games to... I don't know. We might see something SNK on King of Fighters 15? I don't know. I don't follow the series. And that's kind of died down. What's well, been taking over has been Street Fighter and Tekken. Sadly, but I know they've been good games, but they're more for a niche audience, so maybe they'll get something. Maybe an SNK also is the owner of Metal Slug. I know a friend of mine who really loves that genre. Maybe they'll do something with it other than a tactical RPG. Sega. I know Atlas might bring... Um, I always forget this game, and it's coming out this year. Refantasio? Refantasio? Metaphor. Mar um, I'm really anticipating that game. <laughs> Trust me, I am. I love RPG. The fact that I don't know the name, it's just... It's it's a common name, you know? I forgot. And I'm bad with names, so... Timmy! Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. I don't know. With how badly you've been handling Pokemon Unite and the matchmaking and the balancing on the mons, uh, mm, I don't know. Warner Brothers, we might see something. Multiverses, which, by the way, that game, I consider it super, super casual. Any, any thought of me playing it seriously? I don't see it seriously. There's a lot of issues of that game that prevent me to take it seriously the hitboxes the speed of the game the hit stun the hit lag uh, a lot the start there's a lot of issues in multiverses that i thought they would fix once the beta phase was over but they have new problems so yeah anyway xbox i do not expect much from xbox on the other than a partnership with other companies because, to be honest, Microsoft, you haven't had a decent, or about decent, first-party title in a long while. You, like Sony, have been depending on third parties, and slowly, the interest on having your own console, eh, it's, it's dying down a lot. People care about exclusives, it's the reason why they buy your console, but... Some of the, your main titles are just going to PC, Steam, and begs the question, should I even buy a console, your console anymore? Or maybe just save up for a good rig PC and get a graphics card there, which, by the way, I'm in the works on getting one myself. 
it, someone recommended me the NVIDIA 4070 if I wanted to play Street Fighter 6 smoothly. Um, and that's pricey, so I have to save up. Uh, and I work on the computer as well, so two birds with one stone, that kind of thing. Uh, Netflix games I do not care about. Meta is in there. I don't know about party animals. Niantic, we might see something Pokemon Go related. I I don't take Pokemon Go seriously, but I also re-downloaded it to motivate myself to go out, and it, it works. Uh, anything else? Pocket Pair, we might see a port of uh, Pal World to... PlayStation, maybe. Uh, Ubisoft, sadly, I do not care. Uh, that person Persian game, they said that it's great, but I don't know. Uh, a lot of Ubisoft titles have been really mid, uninspiring to me. And it shows when they're not popping off as they used to before 2017. I mean, I guess it comes with the territory with the whole not having a conference anymore, but their confidence has died down a lot. Maybe we might see Beyond Good and Evil. Maybe that they'll show signs of life of that game that we haven't seen in five years. Uh, EA, who are they? Uh, Atari? I don't know. And Capcom, we might get... Uh, this is a reach here, but we might get a new Mega Man game. I know it's a really, really far reach, but the closest reach would be a new DMC game, uh, another Resident Evil remake, Code Veronica maybe, but we got a remake last year, so I don't think there should be another remake. Uh, if anything, uh, we w I would love to see the ports of the classic games to Steam. Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, because Re they've said Resident Evil 3 is so much better than Resident Evil 3 Remake, and I want to play it for myself. I had it on the PS3 before it died, and I never got to play it. So maybe they should port those. I would love if they actually port those, now that I think about it. Bandai Namco, I would... we might see another Tales game? I don't know. Also, Bandai Namco, could you port some of your previous Tales games, like Tales of Zillia? I had fun with that game, and my PS3 died, and I couldn't continue in a quarter of your game because I was busy with life and all that stuff. If I, if you could just put it on Steam, I will buy it again. I will. I have Tales of Zisteria in there. I might pick up Missouria. I've heard Gr Arise is great, but... I need that Zillia, man. I know it's not a huge fan base on Tales of Zillia, but I started liking it. If you can just port more of your Tales of games to Steam, that'd be great. Um, anything else here that isn't mobile that I recognize? Some songs there. NetEase, I don't know them. NC, I don't know who they are. And there's a lot more I do not recognize. So I'm going to end it there. So what are you expecting from this event? And I know Square Enix is not there. A lot of people um, who are hoping Kingdom Hearts 4 news are disappointed on the whole Jeff Keighley thing, the way he reacted. But Kingdom Hearts fans, you need to play other stuff that isn't Kingdom Hearts. Trust me, the more you focus on anything else that isn't Kingdom Hearts, the faster it will come. I've been a Kingdom Hearts fan since the first one. It's been 20 years. So just focus on other stuff that may be related to Kingdom Hearts. Like say, if I I love the action and uh, the combat of Kingdom Hearts, pay attention to the things that I recommend that remind me of Kingdom Hearts, like Xenoblade, action games like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and other action RPGs, like I mentioned, Tales of Zillia. Try out the Tales of games, you might like it. Help, anything to help you distract on the lack of KH4 news, 
will help it come faster. Trust me. And we need to be chill. Really, we cannot be toxic. At all. We already had a bad rep. Come on, guys. But anyway, that's it for this video. Um, me rambling on what to expect. What I want to see from this presentation. From the fan fest. From the game fest. And I know some of these are reaching it. But these are just things that I want. What do you guys want? Let me know in the comment section. As always, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you see this. And I hope you guys are excited for Friday. See you later.